Welcome and thanks for joining us. This is North Metro TV News. I'm Eric Nelson. Well, in these polarized times we live in, there is one thing we can all agree on. Minnesota State Highway 65 in Anoka County needs upgrades ASAP. Earlier this week in Blaine, public officials had a meeting to shine a spotlight on just how bad the road really is. And this absolutely impacts not just our city, not just this region, but the entire state. They made their pitch and stated their case at a jam-packed Blaine City Hall. And I have never met a community who is so passionate about a road. The mayor, police chief, council members, and highway experts were expounding on why Minnesota State Highway 65 needs instant upgrades. Now is the time. There's never been more access to funding than there is right now. I'm ready to throw my friends into my car, drive to Home Depot, and buy shovels and hard hats. That's where we're at. The speakers did not sugarcoat things. It's embarrassing as a resident and employee of our community to have people coming here drive down Highway 65. There's so much more potential along that corridor. Frankly, it is embarrassing. The condition of Trunk Highway 65, the lack of development. Funding is the key to making Highway 65 thrive. Currently, there is $25 million in the coffers, but the total tab of the project is $160 million. We're again working with our, our partners, seeking grants, uh, federal, state, county, city, everyone, all in. Once the cash is raised, the shovels and bulldozers will spring into action and begin this long overdue project. So next year, 2023, we'll start to see construction going. If nothing else, at least at 99th Avenue. Highway 65 is an outdated ribbon of road that is unsafe and often gridlocked. According to MnDOT, 10 of the 30 high priority intersections in the Twin Cities Metro are on Highway 65. The accidents and carnage are real. This corridor has crash problems, sometimes eight times the average that it should. I have three drivers. Three out of three drivers are not allowed to be on Highway 65. They're just not, because for me it's not worth the risk. So they took back roads to school. Extra 20 minutes out of the way didn't matter to me. That's how they got to school. The sea of red brake lights caused by red stoplights is costly to business and commuters. Delays can be epic. My personal record, if you want to call it that, is 17 minutes sitting at the light at Highway 65. I kid you not. The power that that road has on our lives is real. Those of us who live in this city plan our day either around that road or on that road, adding time to our morning, adding time to our afternoon and our evening, our kids' projects, our kids' school day, our kids' sporting events. We average 10 calls a day in Blaine alone on Highway 65, 10 calls a day. There's not a lot of humor in it, but it's the adult version of the dog ate my homework. Whenever we're late to a meeting, whenever we're late to an engagement, well, where were you? Highway 65, say no more. Everybody in the North Metro knows that, it's, it's ridiculous. The Highway 65 conundrum has had a direct impact on business growth along the corridor. They have real clients that want to invest money in our community, but they're scared away because of the uncertainty of Highway 65. We can't give them a concrete answer. The grand vision for Highway 65 is raising the road over the intersections and making other fixes, which will improve traffic flow. Right now, the traveling in the entire corridor from Ham Lake to Spring Lake Park during the busiest periods can take 40 minutes. After these are built, 10 minutes. Since 2015, there have been 297 injury accidents on Highway 65 and over 1,900 that have resulted in damage to vehicles in that span. 